Hey guys, Romo Drummer Vlogs here. I haven't made a tutorial in a long time, I know, but today I want to come to you guys with something I uh, took me a week to get. It's um how to eliminate rendering in Final Cut Pro 7. Uh, the new Final Cut Pro that came with Final Cut Studio 2 recent Final Cut Studio from Apple so here we go let's go go in here so what I want to do now is I'm gonna open photo booth and I want to film a test video here for you guys just to t um, do it off the fly here off the cuff so here we go hey guys this is a test video for you guys um, I'm gonna be editing soon to show you how to eliminate rendering in Final Cut Pro 7 so this works in Final Cut Express as well and let's go alright so I made that video I'm gonna drag it to my desktop desktop I'm gonna close photo booth there so what we want to do is we're going to open up MPEG Stream Clip. I'm going to add these. I'm going to add um, everything you need to download on the sidebar. MPEG Stream Clip is going to be, there's going to be a download link on the sidebar so you guys can download it. So here we go. We, we drag the clip we just made. doesn't matter what it is. AVI, MPEG, MOV, whatever, FLV, whatever. It's, everything works. MPEG Stream Clip is an amazing software. Converts any video to anything. It converts audio from your video. So file, export to QuickTime. And I already have this set as a preset. And let's open it here. What you guys want to do is go to Compression and choose Apple DV 720p 30. And then put the quality to 100. Set the frame size to 1280 by 720. And the frame rate to 29.97. Deinterlace the video because you don't want it to be choppy. And that's it. Leave everything default. Make movie. Name it whatever you want save it to wherever you want external hard drive desktop or wherever you choose if you see it's saving right there now I purposely made a short video so we don't take up time on YouTube and why while this is converting we're gonna open it Final Cut Pro and then set up set up the import um, sequence format is go to Final Cut Pro on the menu bar Go to easy setup and set the format to all formats. Set the rate to 29.97. Set the use to HDV 720p 30. And if you guys can tell, we set the exact same settings as we did in the MPEG Stream Clip. Because that's what you have to do. So let's check an MPEG Stream Clip. Okay. Let's let this finish because there's like a little bit more left. Not a lot. So. There we go, it's done. So now what we do is we go to file to open our f video file import files or sh um, we can do a key command is command I and then choose the video we converted drag it into our timeline okay let go and as we can see there's our video okay and as you guys can see there is no red line it's a gray line which means you are good to go no red no rendering has to be has to be needed so let's add some effects here so we can see that it works no no red line 
Let's add some effects to let's put the let's make it more lighter. Oops. White balance here. I guess that's cool. And let's add some more effects to see that you can add unlimited effects, not only just one. Let's add a dissolve on the beginning here. And let's add a cut over here. And a cut right here. And we're going to add a dip to color dissolve on this video. Let's make it shorter. Okay. Then let's add some more cuts. And what we're going to do here is we're going to add one of these effects. And yeah, it turned red. But the only effects that you you're gonna have to to put on here to not render are the bold ones the effects that are bold so I mean mostly most most of the effects on here are bold but there are some effects that you download some third-party effects I guess some third-party plugins you download that are not and I mean just a little rendering, like two second rendering for a little clip. I mean, that's nothing. See, as you can see here, look, that's fast. It did that fast. So let's go here and play it. I'm gonna change the color correction on this clip so we can tell that it changed, that we did something. All right, so let's go ahead and play and take a look. All right, so that worked. I'm gonna set out. I'm gonna set my in and out points and export it. So to export is we go to File, Export, using QuickTime Conversion. And then we go to Options, Settings. H.264 best and then okay and then the size we want to make it 1280 by 720 if you if you're gonna put it on YouTube that's the size you want and then the sound a decent sound for YouTube is AAC the rate is 48,000 best and then Y92 is your bitrate. Press OK. Press OK, you're done. Name that whatever you want. And then save that to your desktop. And here it is right here, saving. It's it's not gonna take that long because it's not a long video. So we're just gonna wait for it to save to export. <laughs> 